800 loyal British workers fired over Zoom, yes. instantly replaced by foreign agency workers shipped in on less than the minimum wage. Yeah. If the Prime Minister can't stop that, what's the point of his government? Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we, we condemn the callous behaviour uh, of p and I think, and I think that it is... I think, that it is, I think that it is no way to treat hard-working uh, employees, and I can tell him that we will not sit by, uh, Mr Speaker, because, uh, because under Section 194 of the Trades Union and Labour Relations Act of 1992, it looks to me, Mr Speaker, as though the company concerned has broken the law, and we will be taking action, therefore, and we'll, we will be encouraging uh, workers themselves to take action under the 1996 Employment Rights Act. Both acts, Mr Speaker, passed by Conservative governments. And, and, uh, and if the company is found guilty, uh, then they face fines running into millions of pounds, Mr Speaker. And in addition, uh, we will be taking steps to protect all mariners who are working in UK waters and ensure that they are all paid the living wage. Can the Prime Minister guarantee, guarantee that these companies will not get a penny more of taxpayers' money or a single tax break until they reinstate the yes. workforce? Yes. If he's asking this government to do what Labour usually wants us to do and actively pitchfork away investment around the country from overseas, Mr Speaker, then that is not what we will do. We'll take them to court, we'll, we'll defend the rights of British workers. What we will not do, Mr Speaker, is launch a wholehearted campaign as they would want against overseas investment, because that is, that is completely wrong and wrong for those workers, Mr Speaker.